Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Wasteland 3. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we kill some more fools. Oh, we're gonna be seen. We're not seen. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we're gonna kill some more fools. There's a Godfisher buggy over there. This is a tough enemy. Uh, a tough, well, tough enemy. It's a tough fight in here. Last episode we had a bit of a lot of problems. Um, and, um, and in this episode hopefully we won't have a lot of problems. Because uh, I've had problems for the last couple of episodes. Also, we weren't able to pick up everything, which leads me to think that there's code in the game to detect radio. Uh, how long, how far away inventory pickup is, which I feel is unnecessary code. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. If I'm picking loot over there, let me pick the loot that's over here as well. I understand that it's, it might feel a little bit, you know, cheaty, but no, no, I killed it. It's that's why it's loot. Uh, so, yeah, just let me pick everything up. Or, better yet, don't even make the looting procedure happen. Just put it all in my inventory, because there's no reason to pick it up. Just let me sort through the inventory so I can, you know, sort by newest added and just... And all the, there's, there's many ways. Anyway, uh, oh, these guys need a good rocket to the face. Oh! Striking first gives a strong tactical advantage. <laughs> nah... Not really. C certainly not in a uh, turn-based game. Because, you know, the, you don't know they're... Well, if you kill them, it does. Killing them! Killing them is what gives you a good t t tactical advantage. I'll agree with you on that. Uh, I got lucky there as well by um, by actually killing that guy over there. Not that it was... Yeah, but it's, it's going to be fine. Oh, look at that! We're still talking to them! So the game is still confused. This area is bugged. Oh, man. That sucks. Uh, so, I am able to shoot them, just not in a particularly, um, what's the word? Effective. <laughs> Effective fashion. 67, that is really unfortunate. Let's go for it. I am okay with this. I will now prepare an ambush. It's important because prepare is a thing and ambush is another. So, be careful with your names or with your words, Colonel. So, what are we doing after that? Are we going over here? Six. Let's just go over here. Because I don't know where the rest of the enemies are. Well, I don't know where any of the enemies that are about to attack us are. So, what I want to do is I, I don't want to be shot by them. Sensible strategy, as I'm sure you will agree. Will I be able to sh Yes, I will. Go for it. No, no. Not like that. Okay. Ooh. I wonder if the doctor talking to us is because I click... On that, um, on the the speech button, uh, bubble. The shot. Oh, nice! Go for it. I'm gonna kill them. Uh, I'm just looking at the doctor here because if the doctor. Oh, look at them! They didn't die. That was very bad. I was expecting that thing to kill most of them, but guess what? That person is just bulletproof. It's, it's not a good thing, is it? Oh, there's a lot. Oh, this is beautiful. It's not a good thing that uh, the game has. Clearly, the game has armor mechanics. Observe. We are indeed... Uh, that might be damage resistance rather than armor mechanics. But the game has armor mechanics. Why does it feel the need... Oh, Major Tomcat is an idiot. Uh, why does it feel the need to... Make these people have more armor than a freaking Scorpitron? Also, Star That Dreams just died because Major Tomcat killed it. Major Tomcat... I'm not going to be able to send the nuclear missile in there an anymore. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, we'll make do. I think. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, no. Wait, how? Huh? Oh, don't worry about the other one. That's reasonable. You know, yeah, it's, that's reasonable. Uh, can we do anything? We can. We can do anything about three of them. And I can indeed. Without shooting Major Tomcat. Everybody's very happy. Major Tomcat is very happy. And that Godfisher has more t armor than a, a freaking... Than a freaking Scorpitron. Or the first Scorpitron that we fought anyway. It's not like than any Scorpitron. But things are bad. Things are bad. No, I can shoot. Okay, things are not as bad as they 
seemed. But I think, you know, Major Tomcat is, may die with a mm, critical. I will you. No, you won't. Uh, Major Tomcat did not die with a critical, by the way. Uh, I'll try to kill you here. Thank you. Very nice. Very kind of you to perish. 87% chance to hit there. Need to press control because the game doesn't realize we're in combat. Uh, that is bad news. 95. Okay, that is a kill. All in a day's work. Man, don't you tell it or something. Uh, anyway, still hoping for a level up, although we might have maxed out. No, we didn't. Level 25. So if I'm if I'm not leveled up, let's see. Did anybody level up? Yes, we did. Quan leveled up. So that's really lovely. He's going to be able to bring his strength up, which might allow him to wear some of the power armor, actually. And yes, I want to confirm. Power armor? Nope. No power armor. No, none of that. That's, uh, that would be very... Uh, you would... Uh, no. No, just don't... Uh... We might be able to wear, to wear weird science stuff, though. Will we? So I have the weird science... No, it's strength. It's still... Okay. And it's just how it goes. Uh, let's see, what else? Attributes, that is Anna. That's really good, because now Anna will have the small arms. Is she, I never know. Is she the one that can't use the weapon? Well, now she can. So, that's good news. We have speed, luck. Let's go with luck. And uh, then Danny also leveled up. We're going up on strength. Not that it's going to matter. He looks a badass. Uh, it lo looks badass anyway. And confirm skills. We have a few. Barter. I could just go up on that, I suppose. Does it matter? Undo. Undo. Yes. I don't know what I did. It's my problem. Oh. Huh. It's five. But why is it... Why is it there? Is it because he has a, a barter thing? He does have a barter thing. So why am I... At this moment in time, not using a book. The reason is I don't have a book. It's fair enough. There we go. So now he's got maximum barter. And he's capable of buying this thing, which is... No, there's no that thing. Okay, that's fair enough. Whatever. Uh, critical resistance? How many perk points do you have? You have the one? Okay, don't, don't do anything about that then. And then we have Lucia, who still hasn't leveled up. But also she doesn't need to because she has maximum... Small arms. Okay. All right. Not bad at all. Really not bad at all. Oh, and we have uh, Major Tomcat still alive. We also have some loot that I apparently can't... Yes. You need to come in from the back. Lead matrix and an industrial saw blade. Ropes and chainsaw sword. Very high level chainsaw sword. 23. Uh, we got a Godfisher kite over here. Several Godfisher kites rest against the fence, ready for a high-flying passenger. You don't need to be cutesy. It's a high-flying passenger. It's the. It's also not even a passenger. It's just the torso of a person. Which I admit is sort of what makes a person sort of a little. I mean, it's like, you know, when you start taking pieces out, at what point does... It not is it not a person and it's just a torso? Do you know what I mean? Also, more enemies, but we knew that already. Let's see what is inside. Hopefully, no more enemies, because you know, fighting. Look at I can't even see. It's just incredible. A lot of dead people, but not as lot, not, not as big an amount as uh, we found in the lodge. Drills, saws, actuators, and scalpels stained with blood cover this workbench. Comas, please. Comas. This must be where they collect their scars. Again, no need to be cutesy. They're the scar collectors. They don't necessarily collect scars. In the sense of... Either way. The apparatus does not seem to be powered at on... Powered on at the moment. Yes. And we have a scar collector slave. The ones that don't want to flee. Because they... they why bother? I think so that's uh, what the other one said. We have ourselves a flame saw cannon. It's a heavy machine gun. That is promising. And I think I have not upgraded the minigun. So that's good news. Uh, also, it reminds me that we got a super powerful bazooka sort of thing. 
This thing is level 21, the javelin. And we got... I think we got something. Tactical shotgun. Was it a unique weapon? I'm pretty sure we got something. The lack of sorting makes it... It's... <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, we have a level 27. That's a Nukazuka, right? Right. Uh, the heavy machine gun over there. Was it the... Fl no, it wasn't the flamer. Was it down here? I thought it was a level 24 uh, rocket launcher. So possibly better than our current one. Fusion launcher. Oh, it's weird science. Yes. Uh, is it actually better? It doesn't seem better, but then again, not having weird science does change the, these numbers, which is a shame because you can't gauge properly. Uh, so this is a heavy machine gun, and that, that seems to be pretty sweet. We have a graviton that we paid, and uh, mm, it is it is good. It's It requires nine big guns, and this reuses energy cells. This uses saw blade ammo. But it's only the one. Flame saw cannon. Can you actually... Yeah, I have 65 of those. Hmm. Yeah, I could do that. I mean, not right now, but eventually I can do that. Yeah, just keep it. Just keep it. It's fine. Uh, everything else is good? Everything else is good. I was just trying to think back to what we got. And now we have enemies out here. This would be an interesting place to attack from, considering they have the upper... Ground. We're stepping on things that are not really there, but we're definitely stepping on things. This happens every once in a while. It's very weird. Look at that. Does that make sound? No. No, it does not. Uh, so a lot of enemies. There's a dino toy over here. Pass a trickster. Do I want to fight these guys? I think I do. So let's get myself into position here. Oh, my God. Oh, oh okay. Bring everybody in here. Take a single shot at whoever has the most health. That'd be you. Oh, that was a kill. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Did we start combat because we were here? Because I hope so. Okay. There's a couple of those up there. Good opportunity for a rocket. Except I can't see it. I'll be able to. Don't worry. Uh, maybe I won't be able to. And you should need to worry. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Can I? No. Wow, that really sucks. That really sucks. Wow. You can't shoot over there. <sighs> well, let's save our situation for now. Send you over here. I'm not going to be able to do much. Uh, then. Yeah, let's just kill you. Hmm. Can you... even do damage up there? Is what I'm wondering. Maybe not anymore. Then he might be able to do something about that. Seriously? You can't even do damage up there. That is incredible. Go for it. Okay. It's not great. But it's alright. Take that shot over here. It wasn't a critical, but it was enough. And then you should be able to die. 95% miss. Can I shoot from here? From What about from here? 5%! Alright. I think... Oh, you, you got it for free. Okay. I think we're about to lose people. Just saying. Get behind cover. Defend. 
<clears throat> and when I say lose people, I do mean just, you know, they're, they're gonna be knocked out. It doesn't, it doesn't matter much. But it still matters. It matters to me. Let's see what happens. That guy's floating away. Oh no, not floating. Oh, that guy. Are they punching us? Come on, punks. Let's see what you got. Smoke grenade. Are you gonna step out of the smoke grenade? Sort of. Okay. Off to a good start. This one in front has Sledgehead E2 over here. Uh, a maximum of 2800 health. You know, as you do. Uh, let's see. Do I get better to hit chance if I move? I do. Does it benefit me to not to move? I wonder. Eh, we got some good shots over here. Mm, oh, it's 39. Really? You get 39% chance to hit. It's 5%. I'm... I'm predicting that, uh, bad things. <laughs> I'm predicting that, that bad things. Also, Josh apparently is going to be hit by that. Uh, I'm going to say no. Hello. Okay, that's good enough. And uh, you're going to step out here. Uh, although, no, it's going to be fine. 73. Uh, let's. Oh, you can't shoot. I clicked on it. But it didn't quite work. It's, it's that other thing. All right. Yeah, that thing is going to... That guy is going to kill us. Like, lickety. Lickety splickety. Ooh. Got a shot. It's not too bad. Just don't kill Party Pal, and everybody's gonna be all right. Do you get a better to hit chance? I mean, sort of, but is it really a really worth it to move? Got some criticals there, which is pretty nice. Then you have 69. Also, headshot, please kill. It was decent. Oh, I need to reload. Oh, that doesn't matter. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the criticals are a pain. <laughs> Why do I gotta do everything More damage with that thing than with a sniper. Oh, he didn't need to do that. But it's fair enough. And, uh, yeah. So, there we go. That's how we you, we, we kill that Chorito. With, I think, ten times damage. Or critical damage. I think the, the way the criticals work um, is basically... There's a critical range. Somebody told me in the comments, and I forget exactly the details. But there's a critical range. Basically, you can have, like, 50% extra damage. But you can also have 1,000% extra damage. <laughs> and so, basically, that's why sometimes damage criticals just are ridiculous. I don't know how I... F I do know how I feel about them, actually. I wish they weren't ridiculous. We have Othello over here. A copy copious notes on the most heart-rending lines of Shakespeare Othello. Dog-eared with the notes focused on, focus on the themes of denied possibilities, such as, quote, I could have been Lawrence Oliver if not for this cruel world I was born into, exclamation mark, close quotes. And uh, that's uh, that's because these, the payasos are actually the most culturally aware of the criminals in the setting. Cute but menacing, just like the payasos. That is incorrect, my good sir. That is indeed cute but menacing, but unfortunately the payasos are not menacing. They might be cute. I don't know. Also, all the noises. Many noises. Actually, I think that might have been because we stepped on him. We have traps in here. Trap design lock picking zero. As <laughs> that, is, that is information that we want to hear. Absolutely. We have some medical crates, things in here. Yeah, just little trickling drops in the ocean of... Except for that one. Nah, that's fine. It's low level. Uh, in the ocean of ammo that we have. And that's that. Moving on then. Because we have more. More over here to, to deal with. Specifically. Hmm. So I'm thinking a uh, rocket over there. Mm, maybe a rocket over there. Uh, no, a rocket over there doesn't work. I think it's going to be all right. Let's just move in. They're not going to talk to us because they, huh. they're... What? Dorsey's. Bet I know who's in there. 
Yes, the Dorseys. Um, so, let's see what I can do here. Oh, if I shoot up there, you can actually hit the other guys. And you can shoot up there. And crit. Yes. That is very nice. Very, very nice. And now, hopefully, I'll have line of sight for this. I'm right at the front. And guess what? I will. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. Second, we are going to go with a rally. And then, that means I have a chance to shoot everybody. I don't trust that thing where I kill everybody with the thing, but... Um, Let's, uh, let's see what I can pull off here. It'll be kind of fun, though. To do the the ambush. Because I'm, I'm ready to kill everybody here. I kill those two. I kill these. Well, no, I can't, I can't kill the ambusher. But... I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, actually. So, can't really shoot those guys very efficiently. I can kill these relatively well let's do that well I say kill kill these relatively well kill one of them and and largely miss the other one 95 yeah that should have landed okay yeah they're all dead <laughs> they're all dead I want to do this. Do I have line of sight on that guy? 82. Yeah, I do. Let's do it. Just for kicks. Ambush. Observe. Wait, does it only happen once? I forget. No, it seems to happen forever. Oh. Only three times. Is there a limit there? I think it, there might have been a limit. But, yeah. It would be kind of funny if, it, if there wasn't a limit. Because, you know, how broken the engine can be with a with a interface specifically. We need, we need stuff to offset that. We need overpowered abilities. Please give us overpowered abilities so I can kill everybody in a single turn. Also, so that... So that if you have a team full of snipers... The game is even more unbalanced. <laughs> I hear... I, I haven't tried it yet. But I hear that playing the game with full sniper team... The of the fittest. ...is the way to go. Imagine at very, very close ranges. It might be a little bit on the tricky side of things. But there's only like one or two battles like that. And you probably can uh, just get one sniper to be really tanky and everybody else to stay, stay away and that's it. I mean, I imagine... Oh, look at that. They think I don't have level 10 lockpick. Why? Why? I mean, I suppose it's okay. It's late in the game. Give me the maximum lockpicks. But specifically, how else do I get in there? Oh, I'm going to talk to the door up there. Hmm. That is curious. That's a mammal over here. A ripper. So, that's the only way to get in there, right? Yeah, there's no other way. Let's look at our missions. Because I haven't failed anything. Confront Liberty and find Percival Wesson at Yuma County Speedway. Yeah, that's where we're going. That's where we are. Oh, yeah. So, there's no side quests. We haven't failed at anything, but also there, there's nothing. Nothing to fail at. Okay, no level ups. Very important, because we might need them, and we will. Indeed, need them. And let's talk to this door. I don't think I understood what that was. Through the door, you hear the harsh commands of Liberty Buchanan directing her Dorsey guards. The disdain in her tone is pal palatable. Usually, people say palpable, which means you can you can grope it. As in, grope is a word, but palp. Palpable is something that you can grab and, and touch. So, the, the grope is not the word that I want to say, but that's what it is. Palatable is something that you can taste. You can... Your palate is... It's just Latin words for things. But, yeah. 
we're just hearing things and actually hearing emotions so it's not it's you can't even hear them um warning once you confront liberty you want to be able to complete missions outside yuma make sure you're ready before continuing <sighs> This is a bad decision. The Arizona Rangers. I was wondering what made my shaky little coalition of pawns self-destruct. I guess I should have killed you the first time I met you. Live and learn. And now you're here to demand I go back to my father, who, don't tell me, promised to help you in return. And the sad thing is he'll actually do it. All because in a world of warlords, he wants his idiot idea of civilization to spread. He wants borders, trading, alliances. The old fool thinks helping you will make you a friend to rely on, when really, it will only make you strong enough to attack him later. Why can't he see the simple truth? That only by ruling everything and everyone can one truly have peace. Only in empire is there stability. Thought we learned this lesson centuries ago. <laughs> but then she doesn't have the benefit of knowing stuff. Um, yeah, you don't want peace. You want submission. That's actually the... the Like, it, it, it it's cut off. Any argument about this sort of stuff is usually cut off immediately. Like, when she's... Her... her when, when we realize that her perception of what peace is, is, uh, is flawed. Because it's not... That's not peace. That's not what peace is. Submission from my subjects, peace for me. And you, intentionally or not, have made achieving that peace just a little bit easier. By killing your subjects? Bullshit. We've done nothing for you. Haven't you? You've got both my brothers locked up in your headquarters. All the eggs I want to crack are in one basket. So, thanks. Oh, I suppose... Yeah, I suppose that does make sense. None of that was for your benefit, though. Nonetheless, I benefited. Now, I'm... Liberty Buchanan? My name is Lucia Wesson. And I call you out for the deaths of my family and the kidnapping of my father. Return him to me without delay. Also, I demand satisfaction from you. Gun to gun. That'll have to wait until we're done here. But you can speed the proceedings and the release of your father if you switch sides and fight for me. No, thank you, Miss Buchanan. I know what my father would say to such a proposal. Unfortunately, it's not fit for polite company. Or yours. Then you'll have no one to blame but yourself when he dies, will you? Now, where were we? Oh, right. Whatever ultimatum you're here to give me, I'll save you the trouble and give you one of my own. Go back to Arizona, Rangers, and I'll pretend none of this happened. Stay, and you die alone, far from home. What do you say? What do I say indeed? Level 10 stuff is what I say. Also the end of the episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG and this has been Wasteland 3. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.